Using Smart Notebook Express with Quick Scout Baseball and your QST Sports team, uh, Network team website is a great way to be able to edit and organize your reports, your scouting reports, uh, your video cutups, and your presentations, and then share them with your athletes across your website. Uh, you're building Smart Notebook pages. You can share those to the athletes who can then annotate over them, answer questions that you post on them, and then send them back to you using the QST Sports Network website. I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, first, we're going to go into the Quick Scout Baseball program. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the edit video portion first. With the edit video portion, you can kind of go in and you can edit your game either pitch by pitch or play by play, at bat by at bat. However you want to do it, you can edit your game and then you can pull those video segments out and you can make your presentations. Uh, in the example here, I actually edited a game pitch by pitch. I just put a couple plays in. So if we open it up, You'll see us here on play one, and you can see that I've broken this particular pitch down by the batter, the pitcher, the count, uh, the type of pitch it was, uh, and some other things in here. Um, I've also marked the begin time for that pitch and the end time for that pitch. So if you've got your video, you can go through and break it down pitch by pitch and then call back pretty much anything that you break down. If you want to see three two counts, if you want to see all fastballs, if you want to see all the times that number seven was the, at, uh, was the person at bat, uh, you know, you can break your video down that way. All right, and I'm, I'm on play one here. If I go to the next play, you can see it's now a new batter. 2-1 um, count. It was a, it was a curveball. The next play, same batter, 1-0 count. So you can kind of just put some data in there and do your video cut-ups. Uh, for this example, I'm going to ask for all the times that fastballs were thrown. And you can see there were three out of my four pitches where fastballs were thrown. I'm going to click video, and I've got my fastball filter set up. And I'll add it to my search list and click search, and it gives me three plays where there are fastballs. Now, you could play them here if you want to. You can create a movie file if you want to of those plays, or you can just export directly into design, which is what I'm going to do for this demo. So I'll click design export. It's going to ask me for a name, and I'll just type fastballs. And I'll hit save. So now when I exit out, go all the way back to the main menu and go into the reports and playbooks, which is Quick Scout Design. Um, you'll be able to see here that I've got my fastballs that I just created. And there's the three plays, the thumbnails for the three plays that go along with it. All right, so now we're ready to go in and build our presentation that we will then convert to a smart notebook file. So we've already got our fastballs edit selected. We'll go ahead and click the edit button. And when that opens up, it's going to show us the three pages that we exported in and it's going to allow us now to create a presentation out of, around those three video files okay so here's page one and we've got that first video file which was the first fastball now in this example let's just sh say I'm going to show a, 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 a one of my athletes how to swing the bat so first I'm going to change the notes when I change my page type to notes I'm now going to have a spot where I can type text where I can also import video I'm sorry import uh, uh, pictures to go along with my video so I'm going to go ahead and click the import button and it's going to give me some of my media files and I'll go ahead and grab a hold of the baseball swing. Now you can pretty much grab any kind of um, any kind of picture that you have if you've got proper technique, if you've got ways to see a fastball, if you've got plays you've drawn up. I mean there's a few different things you can show here in terms of pictures. Uh, in this case I'm just showing a proper swing here. And then we can also put something like you know on a fastball uh, please show um, how your legs should have been before the start of the swing. So you're kind of asking the athlete to give you some information, kind of a, a way to get feedback from them. Okay, that's going to be number one. That's going to be page number one. And I'm happy with it. Everything looks good. I'm ready to go ahead and wrap it up and make it into a smart notebook page. So the way you make it into a smart notebook file is by clicking the package files button. And you get a couple different options. In this case, I'm going to click package for smart notebook. And it's going to ask me for a file name. And I'll just keep going with the same name I've been using. I'll just type fastballs. And I'll hit OK. 
And then what it does now is it takes the video, the images, the text that you typed into your presentation, and it kind of wraps it all up and creates a smart notebook file. So we'll let, we'll let that go ahead and go through. And when it's finished, it'll display the little done button on the screen for you. And now if we go all the way back to our desktop, exit out of everything here, you can see now I've got the Fastball's Smart Notebook file um, on my desktop. Now because of the way that Smart Notebook files are created, uh, you may need to go into it ahead of time uh, before you put it up on your QST Sports Network website and just clean it up a little bit make sure everything looks like you you, you want it to look you might want to make changes to it um, and I can do that just by opening it up in smart notebook and clicking on the first page and you can see there's my picture and my my video and my text and maybe I want to just kind of move this around I can move it down if I want to change the color you know, maybe you want to move the picture in a little bit, make it a little bigger. You know, you kind of have those options there. You can do that for each page, and when you're done, click Save. And now you've got your smart, smart Notebook file ready to be uploaded. Now, in order to upload it, it has to be converted to a zip file first. Uh, the, the Internet doesn't necessarily know what to do with a .notebook file, but it does know what to do with a .zip file. So the way you do that is simple. You just right-click on it, and you go Send To. compressed or zipped folder and when you do that it's going to create a zipped folder right beside it and that will be ready to upload. So we're actually going to get rid of the, the smart notebook file now. We don't need that anymore. And we're going to go back into the baseball program and go back into create reports and playbooks. And we're going to do the tools menu. And based on what you put in your user settings for your username and your password when you originally set up your website, the program will actually know where to upload your site to. So we're going to click Upload Files to QSTSportsNetwork.com. And in the top part now, we're going to put in what files we want to attach to our website. Uh, you can actually attach one. If you've done three or four or five smart notebook files and you want to do them all at once, you can. In this case, I'm just going to do one. I'll click Browse, and I'll go to my desktop, and I'll select my zip file. And below that, I'm going to go ahead and type a, a description, and I'll just put Fastball Pitches, you know, by Smith. You know, you can pretty much title it whatever you want. I'll click Attach, and it tells me that it's added. Now you can see it on the list. And like I said, if you've got more than one, you just hit the Browse button and do the whole thing over again. Below this, now we're going to create where on the site that file is going to you know show up and we'll go home and scouting reports and we'll choose uh, let's say it's somebody from east so we'll choose that that spot to put it and we'll click upload files now it's going to take that zip file upload it it's going to create a page and upload that also we'll go ahead and click done and if we exit all the way out of the program, and if we open up our Internet Explorer and go to our QST Sports Network site, and we'll click on Scouting Reports, and we'll click East, that's where we uploaded it. You can see that that page has been created. Uh, with some instructions on how to download it and then you've got your download file link so like I said if you had put up three four or five of those you would just had a list here of the ones that that uh, the athletes could download so now I'm gonna go ahead and play athlete here um, you know the coaches told me I've uploaded some files go to the East folder and grab it so from my home computer now I'm gonna go ahead and click download file and I click the link and it's going to ask me if I want to open it or save it. I'm just going to go ahead and click save and save it to my desktop. And 
And I'll go ahead and close out of my Internet Explorer, and you can see now that that smart file is sitting on my desktop. And in order to use it as a notebook file, I have to unzip it. So we'll right click and I'll just click extract here. And it'll put it right on my desktop and there's my notebook file. Now if you don't have smart notebook on your computer, especially if you're an athlete and you're at your home, you know, you probably don't have it. You can actually go to uh, express.smarttech.com, which is their web application that allows you to open um, smart notebook files from anywhere. So I open up that website, express.smarttech.com, click open an existing notebook file, and open up my Fastballs notebook file, the one I just downloaded, and click open. And now what it'll do is it'll actually open up uh, on my computer. So now if we look at page one by clicking on it here, you can see there's the a question the coach asked me there's some video that could go along with it and there's an image that goes along with it so it wants me to say on a fastball please show your leg should uh, have been before the start of the swing so as a student if I want to answer this question I can either go in and I can type you know um, straight back wait on and so on and so forth or using the the drawing tools if I want to draw um, kind of like a bent here, bent here type of thing. You know, again, it's answering the question. You know, you can do that. So you've got the ability using the Smart Notebook Express to go in and annotate over top of the video. Uh, and I can actually annotate over top of the video if I want to. Annotate over top of the picture, or I can start typing in there to answer the question. And you can go through and you can do that for each one of the, the pages that Coach gives you. And when you're done, just go to File and Save. And now you can save a copy of that notebook file on your desktop and I'll actually call this one fastballs and I'll put answers in there to keep it uh, distinguished from the first one and I'll hit save and now it's been saved on my desktop now as a as a student I want to go back and I want coach to see my answers I wanted to see what I what I did so I can upload it to my own personal site uh, I'm sorry, I can upload it to my own personal spot on the QST network site. So I'll go Quick Scout Baseball and Create Reports and Playbooks. And I'll go to Tools and I'll go Upload Files, just like we did as the coach. And I'm going to click Browse and I'm going to grab a hold of my answers. Oh, but you'll notice it doesn't show up because it always has to be zipped first. So if I get out of here and go back to my desktop, here's my Fastball's answers. I need to actually zip it first by just right clicking and go send to compressed zipped folder yes and there it is so now if I go back into my baseball program and go to tools and upload click browse there's my fastballs answers hit open and I'll give it a, a title I'll just say answers to fastballs and hit attach and then I'll select my own personal spot and we'll just say I'm Eric Smith so I'll click upload and it does the same thing it uploads that file and it builds a page so the coach can go in now and download my answers and take a look at them And so now I'm back as the coach, and if I go back into the, the uh, QST Sports Network website, go to Player Portfolios and click on Eric Smith, here's the page that was created with the answers, and I can click on it and download it and open it up and view their answers, um, just the same way that they viewed my question. So it's an easy way now, using all these tools together, that coaches can send out scouting reports into smart notebook files to their students and allow them to kind of share them back and forth.